Welcome back to another book spotlight. And today we're doing Axiom Man, The Deadland, Episode 1. And remember, these episodes are meant to be uh, more like half hour uh, shows compared to two hour movies. The thicker books are like two hour movies, and these episodes are meant to be more uh, thinner and smaller in scope. So, what better way to present an intense, fast paced story than have Axiom Man versus Zombies? And what's cool about this book is um, it's sort of like a, a insider um, crossover event. And by insider, meaning I'm the insider. <laughs> um, Axiom Man ends up crossing over into the world of my zombie series, Undead World Trilogy. And so that's the world he enters. And... Um, that's my little way of having fun. And of course, if you're like a Axiom Man and or AP Fuchs completist, uh, then Under the World Trilogy would be like sort of a what's happening in that world uh, that Axiom Man enters in this one. And uh, I wanted to write, uh, you know, like superheroes and monsters are my thing. So I wanted to write Axiom Man fighting monsters. And I wanted to make the zombies... Uh, some easy to take down, but also others that are very difficult to take down. So you get sort of those two kinds in this book. And the way the book goes is it's a, it's a story about um, a father whose son has gone missing and Axiom Man ends up taking on the case. And through, because of the events of Doorway of Darkness uh, that takes place right before, this happens zombies and I don't want to spoil it I don't want to say how the doorway affects things because again I want the, the book to be read but because of it now it starts to kick off the the repercussions of of having that doorway open and Axiom Man versus zombies is part of it and uh, this for me uh, cover wise is my favorite Axiom Man cover this the you know the gloom and doom but at the same time, he's so, I'll bring it closer, he's so bright and hopeful, even though he's in the middle of fighting. But just on the cover itself, he's like this beacon of blue hope, so to speak, you know, amidst this darkness. And I really dig at the cover for that. And the coloring is, is perfect. It Again, it has that nice sharp contrast between the, his brightness and goodness versus the glum and humdrum of zombies shambling around so this is the story taken from the back i'll read the synopsis for you it says this a young boy goes missing taken in the middle of the night no clues nothing except the remnants of a black cloud like the one coughed up from inside the doorway of darkness a black cloud that takes axiom man to a world not his own a dead world where a gray and brown sky shrouds an entire city in a miasma of decay. The streets are empty. The young boy is nowhere to be found. Those he does find are dead and walking. So this is like a mystery book. Axie Man searching for this young boy, while also trying to make his way through the world of the undead. And yeah, of course, this wonderful uh, superhero versus zombie action. There's people trying to survive in this world. And uh, it's the quest to find this child. And when the quest to find the child comes to fruition, well, let's just say things go down not in a way that you expect. Quite different. So please take a look. If you love superheroes, if you love monsters, all this have two of them together. Axiom Man, The Deadland, Episode 1. Here you go. Alright. Thanks for checking this book out. Hope you enjoyed the premise. Talk to you later.